So in this vlogcast I want to go over how you calculate percent composition. So what is percent, percent composition? Well it's the percentage by mass of each element in a compound. So imagine that this sort of thing represents a the whole thing represents a compound. What percent of that compound is made up of each element? And so here's our sort of simplified equation that percent is a part divided by the whole times 100. So for percent composition it's going to be the mass of an element in one mole of compound divided by the mass of one mole of that entire compound times 100. That will give you the uh, percent composition of the various elements within a compound. So let's look at two problems. So we'll start off with this first problem. Um, what are they asking you? They're wanting you to find the percent composition by mass of each element. And the compound that they're asking you to look at is potassium permanganate. There it is its formula. You can see it has potassium, it has manganese, and it has oxygen. And so I've included um, these little images from the periodic table. So you can see that potassium has a molar mass of 39.1, manganese 54.94 and we're going to round oxygen to 16.0. So we're going to use this equation at the bottom here to work out the mass percent of each element in the overall compound. So you can see that this compound, let's start off with, um, we'll deal with potassium first. There is only one potassium in the compound so we are going to multiply potassium's molar mass by one so that's still going to be 39.1. There is only one manganese in the compound, so we're also going to mag multiply it by 1 to get 54.9. But if you look at oxygen, there's a little subscript here of 4. So there happens to be 4 oxygen atoms in here. So we need to multiply the mass of each individual oxygen atom by 4. And then we add those all up, and that is the molar mass of potassium permanganate. So remember, that's what one mole of potassium permanganate will weigh. It weighs 158.0 grams. So this is our first step, is to because we need to know um, what the overall weight is, or mass is, sorry, so that we can work out the percentages. So this is sort of the first step, is to find the, uh, the molar mass of the overall compound. So now that we've got that, mass, we can now go to step two. So here it is here, you can see here is the overall mass of potassium permanganate, it's written at the bottom. And so what we're going to do, if we want to find the percent of potassium in the compound, you take the mass of potassium, divide it by the overall mass of the compound times 100, and you will discover that 24.7 percent of this compound is made up of potassium in terms of its mass. And we do the same thing, of course, for manganese and for oxygen. And you want to check that all of these, of course, when you add these three up, they should add up to 100%. And you can do a quick check and see if that is the case. And it should be. So that's one example of how to work out mass percent. Let's do one more quick example. Or if you feel you understand it, you can stop the video and just go and try your hand at some problems. Okay, so here's our second example. We want to determine the percent composition by mass of each element that's in sodium carbonate. Here is our formula for sodium carbonate, and we have calculated the overall molar mass of this compound. You can see that we've had to multiply sodium's mass by 2, carbon by 1, and oxygen by 3 to get that uh, molar mass for the, overall, for the compound. And then basically what we do to find the mass of each, or percentage, sorry, percentage composition of each element, we take the mass of the element, divide it by the molar mass of the entire compound, multiply it by 100, and it gives us our percentages. And so in this example, you can pause the video and just look at the math, and you can see that we've, worked, we're, we've calculated that sodium makes up 43.4% of the mass of the compound, carbon makes up 11.3% and oxygen makes up 45.3%.
So hopefully uh, this will be helpful in you doing percent composition problems for compounds.